Tata, he joined IT for Change, which right. had set up in 2000. So IT for Change also was set up in the same year that Azim Pindi Foundation was set up. But I thought it's good to get experience in an established organization so that one learns the tricks of the trade. IT for Change during uh, in, in two, 2000 was the year of the dot com boom and uh, uh, lots of uh, dot coms were set up and that's why you know we call it the year of the dot com boom. There was also the year of the Y2K boom. You know, in India, a lot of people got into working on software to make it uh, century proof because you know the year 99 was becoming 2000 and people feared that applications would not work. So at that time, when everybody was talking about technology, that was the first time when technology was a household word and everybody was saying technology is changing society, technology is changing the world. We're still saying that, but we started saying it in 2000. A group of us got together and felt that technology, what it is doing for business, the same thing it cannot do for social sector. The social sector application of technology has to be unique to the challenges and problems of the social sector space. So I was the only technology person in that group. There were other people who were working in development, some working in gender, some working in governance reform, mm -hmm. some working in uh, labor and worker issues. So we all got together and said, let's start this NGO because this and we need an NGO which is going to look at technology from a social sector perspective, not necessarily the way it's popularly, uh, you know, it's popular in the world, which is in the business sector form. That's how it started. And of course, any NGO, when it starts, it's not going to be um, from day one, unless you have like an Azim Ramji Foundation that somebody is supporting it from day one. For an NGO, it's really a struggle to find uh, uh, specific projects and purpose in what it does. So we, our first big project was in Mysore, where the government of India gave us a grant to explore how community knowledge centers. Now, of course, these are very common and all over the uh, country, we have these knowledge centers. Right. But I'm talking about in 2004 when this was still a very new area. So we did a two-year program on how knowledge centers can be set up in rural areas and how they can support rural development. So that was the first big project that we got in 2004. After that, the journey has been continuing.